I'm going to show you two ways to create a poinsettia flower. So first let's talk about materials that you'll need. We're going to start today using construction paper, two pieces of red, one piece of green, and one piece of yellow construction paper. If you don't have construction paper, you can always use some crayons or oil pastels and color your paper. Remember, use what you have. If you have little things like pom-poms around the house or um, some tissue paper, you can also use that and I will demonstrate how you can use it today. Now, the second way I will show you is using a paper plate and I'm going to use some washable tempera paint. So if you have those items, you'll need three paper plates and red and green paint. Yellow will be optional. I'm going to be painting with a paper towel today. You could also use a sponge, but I chose to be resourceful and use a paper towel. Now um, I have a bowl and a lid I'm going to use as circle tracers for my project and my scissors and glue. So let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is trace a circle or draw a circle, I did both for you to see, onto the red paper. And then I'm going to cut out those circles. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, put those to the side and now repeat the same process with your green paper. I chose not to use the bowl as a tracer to show you it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now you're going to trace a circle using whatever you can find in the center of your red and green circles. And then you're gonna draw little flower petals going around the circle to the edge of the paper. Notice I'm using my scissors and I'm cutting out each petal, or actually the green ones are not even petals, they're leaves. And I'm cutting them out, starting from the outside and cutting inward. It's a lot easier to cut this way. Here you can see my little one wanted to help. She wanted to help teach today. <laughs> we made this video on Saturday and she was home and really excited to be a part of the project too. So here we go. We're going to cut out all of our petals. So this is going to take a little bit of time. And remember the tip to cut from the outside of the paper in. It will just really be a lot easier for you. All right, get rid of those scraps and flip your paper over. And now you're going to start folding your paper. Well, first let's draw. Let's draw the veins on the leaves. And then one thing that's pretty neat about a poinsettia flower is that the petals, they look like a leaf too. They have veins just like a leaf does that go down the center, and then you can see the diagonal lines. So if you examine a poinsettia flower, you will notice that. So draw those on there and then fold each of the petals upwards. Now it's time to glue them together. And then you can decide what you wanna do for the center. You might want to rip up some yellow construction paper and make the center of the, of the flower. It's like a little yellow ball. Or you might want to use some pom-poms or tissue paper. I will demonstrate with tissue paper in just a moment. Now, if you're using paper plates, you're really repeating the same process. You draw a circle, you draw the flower petals all the way to the edge of the plate, and you're gonna cut them out. Again, start on the edge of the paper and cut inward on both sides. All 
All right, when you're all finished, you'll have three. Now notice I've got a messy mat and I'm gonna start by drawing the, the uh, veins on the leaves. I'm using an oil pastel, you could use a crayon, it doesn't matter. I've got a little bit of green paint and I'm just pushing the um, paper towel into the paint and then onto my paper. It's kind of like sponge painting with a paper towel. Now here, when I was making my demonstration, I realized I forgot to draw the leaves, um, the veins of the leaves. So I just grabbed an oil pastel and even though my paint was wet, I was still able to draw in there. Now it's time to fold and glue. All right, now you can ball up tissue paper and you can make the center of the flower that way with just little balls of tissue paper or you can use pom-poms. Really, whatever you have, you can draw them on there, you can paint them on there. Just be creative. Remember, have fun and enjoy yourself. Your, one of your goals today is to make art with what you have available to you. So I look forward to seeing how you're going to be resourceful.